Oh. So yeah, tonight we're going to do the map tutorial. And our map of choice is Pasta. Pasta? Can he, can he name the map? <laughs> we're on Origin. Well played, sir. Um, the home of Cobalt. Defense Regiment, nonetheless. Right, to begin with, we're all going to aim for S2. It's the highest point on the map, and also the AA for when you're playing Siege. This is one of the most important points on the map. You get a great view of both of the other silos. To our left, we will see silo 1. Woo, can't get up. And to our right, we will see silo 3. Okay. This giant missile what? silo. I think someone ended themselves. Uh, by missile. Will be uh, the AA turret for when we're playing Siege. And this is the place that you need to be. The boundaries are this square here. Okay, so if you ain't in here, you are not helping your team capture a silo. Now, we did this once before, but just quickly, we're going to go over the places where we see people that aren't ideal. I am a Reaper. I will quite happily cover from this position here, but once again, I'm not actually taking a silo. You also see them over here-ish. And Copper, if you wouldn't mind doing the other side. You can sure. take the sniping position. Okay. Me this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you'll also find them over here. If you end up with snipers, it's always a good idea to deal with them relatively quickly, and especially if they're predators. Because if I'm spamming mines in this location, it is really hard for your team to get inside for the AA on siege. Because many of them, if you push forward, will hit every single mine on the way. Now, obviously, the other side has the same positions there or thereabouts. And another one to note is where EX is. It's another great position to be if you're a long-range fighter, but once again, you're not actually capturing a silo and you're not taking the AA. Now, if we drop down to S3... we. Okay. <clears throat> Your danger positions are out on the left over here. And out on the right over here. Now you can also have people come in and attack you from above, which is where Vili is right now. And that's one hell of a position to be if you want to steal EU from people. But once again, unless you're within yeah. the boundaries of this box, then you're not actually getting anywhere. Now, can I there's... just um, oh yeah, carry on. Point out this. Uh, it, it seems obvious to us, but this is um, a very there's a massive drop there. Um, it's really important to give yourself a flare at the bottom so you don't get massive fall damage when you uh, when you yes, drop indeed. down from either side. <coughs> right, Marapple. Now, if I ask you to hop up this direction here, you will see that Marapple has used a lot of boost and fuel to get to that position, and I have used less by using this jump pad. It is a more exposed route, but will leave you with more fuel for when you're actually trying to make your way back to an AA station. And the yeah. same goes for this side. Now you got the jump pad and then you're up and away. Now you at this point where I am now, okay, you've got two choices on where you can go. Now many people will take the route of Pistorius over here and take that jump pad up there because it saves a lot of fuel. Whereas if you're in a position where you're in a lot of danger, we take the route that Copper is taking now, it's longer, it's slower, and it requires more boost, but you have more cover. Now, if we all head up to the top here... Oh, watch, watch out, out for the, the base defences. Ah, I'm gonna get shot! Yeah, I'm dead. Um, yeah, watch out for the base defences of the team. That's something... Ah, well, to be honest, that's a really good point to make. In Siege and Missile Assault, those are no-go places for you. You will get cut into tiny, tiny little pieces very, very quickly. 
So always be aware of your position on the map. Right. I think we've got some of the major positions covered, so we'll just do a little bit of movement as well. Now, Bruno, my good man, I'm going to ask you... Billy's got a good little spot over there. Uh, There's one down here, isn't there? There's a good little sniper spot over here, if I remember rightly. Call your location, sir. But uh, I'm to the right of the um, platform um, up here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, um, yeah cuz there's a little bit of cover here so there's a good sort of ducking in sniping ducking back in yeah now those guys um, and the central position just here these guys are almost impossible to kill if you're pushing forwards because those base defenses the easiest way to get round is to jump on these little nubbins on the wall here but as soon as you do those base defenses are on you in but a few seconds so I need to run away before I die again so yeah, a sniper there is almost impossible to kill, but just remember that he's not that effective. If you've got a good team that can know, knows how to dodge, then you know, to be honest, they're not very effective. Now, what we'll say is, Browno, I'm going to do a straight boost, and you're going to do boost dodge, boost dodge, boost dodge? Yeah, just to give I was an about idea. to say, can we do Villy's yeah. little tip on... Uh... Okay, so... Bruno to my right you is going to do a boost, then a dodge, then a boost, then a dodge, and you will see just how much further he can get than I can. So three, two, one, go. Now I've run out of boost, and you can hear that Bruno's made all that distance over there. He's still going. Yeah. So if you boost, and dodge, and boost, and dodge, and boost... Is that where you ended up, Browner? Yeah. You can that's make... That's pretty impressive, isn't it? That's on like average, twice as far. Yeah, I'd say at least time and a half, and that's in any mech. You can cover a lot more distance if you just boost, dodge, boost, dodge. And it's a much, much easier way to get around. Not to mention, you're a damn sight harder to hit. Yeah, because you just exactly try actually, and mix it up. The One of the easiest things that my good man copper over there will do well, he'll watch you for about three seconds and if you're doing left right left right he will shoot you as soon as you dodge to the left now I don't think we've got anyone with toes because I think we're all A class but we'll do leading toes in a minute we might do the next map as a B class ah oh, there we go who's got a toe? Right. Uh, Pasta um, mm -hmm. Pasta and copper if you take a position somewhere about there and Copra, if you'd like to show... Right, Pastor, I want you to do a bit of dodging. My good man Copra, you know this probably better than anyone else that we have here. You know that to fire a toe, you wait until they've dodged. So Pastor's going to do a bit of dodging, and I'm just going to film how Copra shoots him. Because one of the best things you can do is not shoot at someone before they boost, but after. So, Pastor, if you wouldn't mind moving forward about 20 feet... So I've got you in camera as well. There we go. Now, Copra and Pasta have a just quick Barney. Obviously, you can't hurt each other, but you'll see how Copra fires. Okay, so three, two, one, go. So, yeah. After you dodge, you can't dodge again immediately. And therefore, one of the best things you can do is waste, oh, well, beg your pardon, wait for your enemy to boost and then dodge and then fire it takes a lot of patience and training to not fire that tow missile as soon as you get the chance but if you do the return is you end up looking like Copra who is a badass now yeah. um, is there anything that we haven't covered ladies and gents Copra is there anything you'd like to add? Pasta? Vili? this good I just thought I've noted off Copra there when he has dodged he puts a little jump on the end as well so we'll dodge and jump, which is going to be a is another good manoeuvre, isn't it, for those people who are uh, waiting for the dodge to happen before they tow. Yeah. There are also uh, some good tourist positions in this map. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Copper, uh, you lead, I'll film. Yeah. Okay, uh, at this side, you will want to put a rocket turret, it will have one, about here. Right, cool. So that uh, when the enemy goes for the AA, 
uh, they will not see the turret before it's already firing on them, and uh, it it adds about Watch 20 hill. DPS. Ah, and that's... If you... Oh, off to you, sir. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, it, it, uh, it takes the attention, and uh, if the enemy is focused on something else, even if it's a little turret, it, it can do its job. And uh, y you can uh, prepare an ambush that way. And uh, the other turret position is at this corner. That's uh, another hidden place for a turret. And uh, if you combine this, you can get a uh, 40 DPS at this area. Very nice, wow. very nice. Uh, another couple of ones. Has anyone got a radar scrambler? Because... Obviously, these all th of these three points are points of contention. Now, that means that you're going to have a lot of throughput all the time. Now, i found that little... Ooh, missed. Beg your pardon. <coughs> little hidden places where you can drop a radar scrambler can cause you a lot of help. So, this location just here... <coughs> so, just there... is not very well travelled and you can drop a little scrambler in there and they will not know what's going on on the AA not to mention the fact it's not in any direct line of fire I've also found that just here is also another good one this one is more exposed for the other team but it's not somewhere that anyone generally tends to look and therefore you end up with a scrambler that no one generally pays any attention to mm. okay now um, do we have anything else to add, ladies and gentlemen? Otherwise, we can wrap this one up. More but, turrets. Uh, oh, more turrets. Yes. Copra. If you would. Over here. At this ledge. Ah, uh, yeah. Very cool. Very nice. And obviously, try not to be exposed. Um, actually, there's there's another quick one. <clears throat> so the enemy is coming from this position. One of my favourites is to dodge in across, get a quick fire, dodge, cross, quick fire again, and then back to my team. It's the most amount of damage that I can do. Now, chances are there is a better way of doing that, but I would I would rather rather than running straight through the AA. I would most certainly like to keep dodging through the AA because this place is an absolute nightmare on a siege. If you're in here and you don't have your team, chances are you'll get cut into tiny little pieces very quickly. It's also not <coughs> oh, technically one of the best places to heal is be on your team's side of the wall. So you'd be looking at yeah. somewhere about here. The thing to be aware of is those guys up on top, as you can see Marapple above me, he will know this. Okay, so if he's got enough room to push, he will be on top of you in mere seconds. So, yeah, I mean... Panda, I would like to add to a healing location. Yep. O over here, if you have uh, enough effort, you can uh, just go go here. And that's beautiful. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit safer around here. Yep. Ah, that's another one to keep in mind. Now, you, there is an obvious healing location, which is just here. Yeah. Now, you will find that uh, I've found that scouts come over here, around there, and they will flank the living daylights out of you. This is a well-known position. Lord knows it's it's not the worst in the world, but be aware that this is somewhere that people will immediately attack if they see your team falling back. Now, Copra, once again, has found a rather sneaky little spot that you can have a quick heal in. And uh, with the sharpshooter, you can shoot under the AA from this position. Yep. Ah, really? Yes, yeah, so if, uh, if you go over here, you can see there's a little gap you can see over. There oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just tow yourself. Right. 
Um, okay then, ladies and gents. Cool. Okay, well, this is the KDR tutorial on Origin. Um, thank you, Copper, <laughs> for your input. Before we close, does anyone sir, have any other quick notes they like to add, or any tips and tricks? I'm all good. We should play a game on it. Okay. Right. In which case, what we can do is we can set ourselves up for a quick round, and we'll get that sorted now. Do uh, an MA on it. Yep, yeah, no problem.